want to welcome everyone to Founder Friday. It's hard to believe, David, that we are already in the heading into spring and it's planting beautiful. season. I know, and we're looking at these beautiful plants. We're here in one of our greenhouses, uh, one of the Always Eden greenhouses. And uh, so David is going to be sharing today about um, a couple things. Uh, one of the things he's going to be sharing is about the recent uh, payment expansion of our payment options um, for our customers and some changes that we've made and why. And then also um, talk about our Southern Oregon um, uh, rerouting and kind of what we're doing now down there to um, better serve our customers in that area. So David, I'm going to um, give you the floor. All right. Well, thank you. Welcome, everybody. We are, um, so just uh, last week, uh, we were able to launch the uh, new payment method for ACH. And, um, you know, I guess in a way, the main, um, the main thing that we were trying to do was create a, a cheaper payment option and it seems like, you know, we spend plenty of money on food and the actual important things that, uh, you know, clothes, shelter, all the good stuff, um, without giving a whole bunch of money to uh, credit card companies that uh, don't do much. And so I had a customer ask me, you know, a few, um, well, it was actually last fall, I got, because we've been working on this for a while, it wasn't a quick, quick turnaround. But they asked me, he said, you know, credit card thing's real expensive. I pay with a check. I said, Is, don't you have um, money built into the price of the products to cover the credit card charges? And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't use that. How, you know, uh, it doesn't seem quite fair. Can you do something about it? And I was like, well, you know. And so we did. We implemented a thing, which we have still implement. If you pay check only, you get a extra point of Azure Cash. And that's still in place for those who would like to use that. Uh, because for sure, check is by far the cheapest option. Um, but I got to thinking about that. That's really widespread. You know, it's, it's all over the place. And then about the same time, I got a notification that the rates for credit card were going up again. And, you know, in reality, as a percentage, rates should never go up. Inflation shouldn't affect things that have margins like that. So why are the rates going up? So after looking into it, hey, it's all about the rewards. Banks are having trouble getting people to take their credit cards. So they're offering higher and higher rewards rates. And of course, they, banks don't want to pay for the rewards rates. They just want to use somebody else's money to you know, entice customers to use their, their credit cards. So they pass it on to the merchants. So that was a big part of why the rates were going up again uh, as a margin. And so I said, well, you know, maybe it's not, it isn't fair for those that, you know, um, don't use credit cards to have to pay that extra margin because I'm going to have to, I, I'm going to have to raise margins again to cover this dang thing. I, you know, I, and I don't like it. You know, it's, it's not, uh, not very valuable, at least in, in my book, I'd rather get better quality. And if we're going to have extra money, give it to the farmers that grow this stuff, not to, you know, banking institutions. Um, but anyway, so we started down the, the, wrote of well you know you can you can charge the people their own surcharges you can surcharge it and let everyone pay for their own and when I was in Europe it was a hundred percent every restaurant every hotel everybody surcharged if you used a credit card so it's not completely um, and it's you know it's happening more and more here for this exact reason but I said no we're not going to do that if we don't have a easy alternative, I want to make sure that we have an easy alternative. I don't want to penalize anybody for paying their bill. That's just not good, not, not okay with me. So I researched and learned about ACH. We already allowed check, but it takes a little bit. You got to get set up and 
you know, we have to create terms and stuff. So it takes a little bit, you know, every, anyone who wants to pay with a check, that's wonderful. It's no problem, but it does take a little bit of, of work to set it up. It's not an instant and it's really hard to do for your very first order. So, um, so after researching ACH, we found out that it can be as secure as, uh, as a credit card. In fact, more secure than a credit card, um, because there aren't near as many ways to do ACH fraud as credit card fraud. And it's information that's basically public already. It's not, you know, like, uh, compromised information there, the, um, the security is different. It's based on, um, you know, I started working on getting set up to be able to do that. So as of last week, we now have, I think, pretty much all the bugs worked out of the ACH payments. So anybody who would like to pay for their Azure order with ACH, you can do that your first order at any time. It's right in the same portal as credit card. You just click the ACH button. It's super simple. Put your routing number and uh, bank account number in and it's and we can save it with last four just like bank cards exactly everything is pretty much exactly the same except it would get uh, deducted from your bank account instead of from a credit card um, so now that is in place we have a free uh, option well we actually have three free options we still have the check, you know, if you want to set up to pay with the check. Obviously, we're not going to charge for that. ACH is also um, a free option. There's no upcharge of any sort for that. And a debit card. So you can use a credit card if it's a debit card. Now, I guess a debit card is not a credit card. But uh, debit cards, um, they um, are much less expensive. They're more expensive than ACH or check, but they're way less expensive than credit cards because they don't have all those rewards associated with it, nor do they have the high bank fees. So a debit card, um, ACH, or a check are all free. So for right now, we, I said, well, you know, we're not going to just plug it over. Let's make sure we get all the kinks worked out, give everyone a chance to get their ACH numbers in, and all that before we uh, implement surcharging. But we will be implementing surcharging to create a level playing field here. Um, you know, after that all works its way through, uh, we should actually be able to take that out of, our, out of our margins. I'm very happy about that. It's roughly about 3% is what it adds up to for credit cards. Um, but in the future, that will be surcharged for just those people who use credit cards. Anyone who uses ACH or, um, you know, check or debit card, that doesn't, you know, there will be no, no uh, surcharge. That will be starting um, in early May. Um, so plenty of time for everyone to get your ACH numbers in or your debit cards or whatever. I, you know, hey, it, something that I resisted for a very long time, I don't like it um, to have to surcharge at all, um, but it's only fair that, you know, that we do that, and it's only, you know, and it's going to allow us to give a little bit better deals, especially on low margin things, because when there's low margin items, and a lot of those are your bulk items, you know, that extra 3% for credit card makes, you know, it, you can feel it on the low margin items. It's, it's a uh, substantial part of that. So as of um, next month, um, I'm not doing, you know, we're not going to see some kind of a over the board thing. I do not have this software in place to do that. But as we, as we reprice products and as the products prices change, they will, that will be being taken into consideration and into account. So I appreciate everyone. I appreciate your understanding. I know when we first launched it out, there were quite a few questions about it. No, it's not, you know, it's not a new profit center. It's nothing like that. 
In fact, we don't get any of the surcharge fees. Those go 100% to the bank cards, the bank card companies. Um, we don't take any, any kind of cut of that. So I just, uh, you know, those were some of the questions that we got asked. Um, is it secure is the other question? Yes. It's from all of my research, ACH is more secure than credit cards. Um, it just, the only difference is it will come out of your bank account instead of from your um, credit card balance. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Um, and I appreciate your understanding. Now, we were wanting to talk a little bit about our expansion in Southern Oregon. And, you know, Southern Oregon, it's old. We've been doing Southern Oregon for going on to 30 years now. Uh, it's one of a very established area for Azure. But we've had a lot of requests for more frequent delivery and definitely on the I-5 corridor for weekly deliveries. And we've never actually done that because we can't really fill a full semi every single uh, week, or we haven't been up till now. So we haven't actually done that. Um, we were doing the I-5 corridor every other week and then the coast on a monthly basis or every four weeks. So what we were able to do, the other thing is, uh, especially in you know some of that I-5 corridor, a lot of really tight spots, places we can't get the big truck into very easily. So we have engaged a small truck. We did this as a model in Los Angeles uh, a couple of years, well, a year and a half or so ago. It's been working well uh, because also Los Angeles has a lot of tight spaces and a lot of people who, uh, especially um, business accounts that want weekly delivery. So we were able to do that in Los Angeles area. So now we will be doing that in Southern, well, basically all of the I-5 corridor in Oregon, all the way from, you know, California to Washington. And so it's been an interesting logistical uh, puzzle. But we're able to put that together and that will go live here in about a month or so as, as well. So if you're in Southern Oregon um, and then at the same time that releases that extra truck. And so we're going to be able to do the coast uh, twice every other week. So for those of you on the coast, uh, the Oregon coast, Highway uh, 101, uh, Highway 1, that will be um, every other week and the whole I-5 corridor um, weekly and with a smaller truck. So if you have a, you know, if you have a place that you wanted to have the drop but it was too tight for the big truck, uh, we can revisit that now. Um, and those of you that want more than more often or more frequent delivery, just say the word. We're, uh, we're going to be there and it will work just fine. So we're really excited to do this. It's kind of our model in LA. We're going to now do it in Southern Oregon. Well, we did it in Portland as well, uh, it, right, you know, right in the Portland metro area uh, a year and a half or so ago as well. And so we're really excited to be able to expand that. We're hoping to expand a few other places over the coming months. But hey, it's a, it's a, fun, it's a fun model and we're really excited to see it work. <laughs>